We all have the blues one way or another. And regardless if we know if we know what the blues is or if we know the difference between blues, jazz, and rock and roll, we all have struggles in our lives. And uh, I think the blues is the type of music that for me personally allows me to put all of that, all of those feelings out there to share with the audience. Hi everybody, this is Jose Ramirez and we're here in Austin, Texas at Wire Recording Studios working on my brand new album. Hello everybody, I'm Anson Funderburg. How are y'all doing? The evolution from on this record compared to the EP is um, that EP I recorded last February while I was touring Europe and I had the opportunity to get in the studio with the band that I was touring uh, and playing the shows in the UK and in England and um, one of the guys said hey I know this this guy who owns a studio we should go in and record three of your original songs at least and I said yeah let's do that um, and it's a bit different it's a little different groove those three songs will be on this album as well we re-recorded them uh, but that that EP was a small taste and it was it was just drums bass guitar and harmonica so it's very different now. We have keyboards, we have full-on horn section, piano, Hammond organ, and it's just going to be a little different. Well, musically, I like to uh, make a point that I'm um, a blues artist that is very influ influenced by soul music and old school R&B. Uh, unlike a lot of blues that's out there right now, there's a lot of great artists out there, but they mostly blend or mix their blues with rock music. I'd like to separate myself from that category, and I would like this album to be a very a blues album influenced by both soul and R&B, uh, with the likes of musicians like Ray Charles, you know, Teddy Pendergrass, Al Green, uh, little Johnny Guitar Watson here and there as well. Uh, so that's just the musical part, of course. And as far as life events, I think this album comes in a very important point in my career and in my personal life. Because let's say around 12 years ago or 10 years ago, I started a lot of cycles that are just now closing uh, for many, many reasons. But let's just say this is an important time for me to, re to release this de debut album and we're very excited. I was playing in Florida at a place called Aces and he was there working with someone else and they I think they had the night off and they came in and we uh, got him up to play a little bit and it was awesome and we sort of became friends and you know and being in contact and just decided we were going to try to work together. Listeners can expect a lot of soul coming out of this blues record. Um, I personally don't hear a lot of soul or R&B coming out of um, contemporary blues artists. So I wanted to make sure I record an album with original music that's going to bring back that sound of soul in old school rhythm and blues. I think people are really gonna love it. Experience working with these guys here in the studio has been amazing. I had the pleasure to record with Gene Pugh on the keyboards three years ago on an album I played guitar on in LA and to have him be a part of my record now is really a special thing. We have Nate Rowe on the bass. Uh, he's very intense uh, bass player. He can play anything from the old school slow blues in his upright bass to a very funky groove on his, on his electric bass. And we have West Star on drums. He's just a legendary uh, drummer. He's on a lot of the records that I used to listen to when I was a kid growing up in Costa Rica so it was really an honor for me to have him. We also have the Texas horns in some of my original songs and a couple of the covers we're doing as well, so I'm very excited about that. 
and I'm very, very excited about having Anson play in a couple of tracks as a special uh, player, a special guest musician. He's going to play in a couple of my original songs. Thanks for watching, thanks for sticking around, and I really hope you enjoy this album as a gift from my heart to all of you. For more content, please visit joseramirezblues.com and all my social media links listed down here.